was her name. I don't remember any of that. See, I'm telling you. 840 here, Big 550 KTS. Ladies and gentlemen, she is so big. Uh, so big, she couldn't bring her two so Emmys for us to on. sort of gawk at, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she is the publisher of Feast Magazine, but she sits atop Feastcom, the next Rupert Murdoch, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Kat Neville from Feast Magazine. Yay, hello, hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank okay, you. so how many Emmys is this for you now? Four total. Four total. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and you won two last weekend. I did. Four. For the episode that we went down to El Salvador with Caldies, yes. and that was a special assignment, and yeah. then also for our barbecue episode. Mm. So, yeah, it's a real honor, and um, our production partners, Tybee Studios and LP Creative, I mean, I, sh we sh I share the award with them, because yes. without them, the show could not, mm -hmm. wouldn't be nearly as wonderful. As There's no the, I in team. Does the, that is right, Does Kelly. the St. Louis Post-Dispatch know that they're winning Emmys because of Cat Neville and Feast Magazine. I honestly don't know if the folks at the Post are aware, <laughs> but the folks at Feast are aware, All so right, there you go. All right. Well, we we, we thought we, we you, you were going to turn them into earrings. You would come in wearing earrings. I thought about it, but I thought maybe that would just be a little too much. All right. A little over the top, but your, no, your thank you. Your acceptance speech was really nice, too. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah. Um, I turned it off. No, I, I, no. I, was, I was trying to come up with a dig and I couldn't think of one. Um, all right. <laughs> just, we're short on time. Let's get to a couple of restaurants. Okay. Two. Uh, there is a brand new diner in, uh, in Grand Center and it is called Stage Left and it is the old um, location of, uh, of City Diner. And so it is at 541 North Grand Boulevard. They have rehabbed the interior. They've revamped, revamped the menu. Um, uh, Brad Baraka is behind the work. He also has uh, Baiku, this really fantastic sushi um, place that is also right there in Grand Center. And so they've reupholstered the booze. There's new stools, mm. updated kitchen equipment, kind of a, a complete rehab. And, you know, Grand Center really does need, um, you know, places for pe people to go before right. and after. But also yeah. there's a lot going on constantly in Grand Center, um, obviously with, you know, KDHX is down there mm -hmm. and um, two of the contemporary art museums are there. And, you know, so having um, a great spot to go will be great. They are working on getting their liquor license. They have things like smash burgers and spoon drop biscuits and gravy, <coughs> fried green tomatoes, chicken and waffles. Um, so it's very just kind of approachable American food, um, you know, shakes and all that kind of good stuff. And it happens to be very close to the dark room, which is um, uh, this weekend we have a brand new uh, photography exhibit that's opening up there hmm. that is all uh, food photos. And it is curated by our art director, Alex Povis. And so all of our fantastic photographers, she kind of pulled the best of the best of their work. So that's at the dark room, which is like right down the street. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Stage really, left. really cool. Stage yeah. left, great name for a place I, next isn't that to fun? a theater. Oh, I, I know, that. right next to Fox Theater. Yeah. Okay, what's number two? Number two is a way to give back by eating well. Um, so Randolphi's, which is an amazing, amazing Italian restaurant. If you've never been there, it's at 665 Delmar Boulevard. Um, they ha make these wonderful Neapolitan style pizzas and, um, for the entire month of October, uh, Mike Randolph is giving back with Pies for a Purpose. It is National Pizza Month, as if pizza needed a month. Yes. I know. It's always National Pizza that's, that's Month. How big, ask me. That's how big pizza is. It needs a whole month. It needs a whole <laughs> month. Um, and so what he's done is he has created these bespoke pizzas for four different charities. Um, the first one this week, uh, the, the proceeds are going to the St. Louis Metro Market, which is a mobile farmer's market. Uh, that's lo it's, it's on a renovated city bus and it goes to underserved communities um, so that folks can have um, fresh produce. access to fresh produce exactly oh, which right. is a great really idea. great yeah. idea yeah. Um, so it goes to the various food deserts around st louis and so his uh, signature pizza is sausage sauteed arugula roasted garlic and mozzarella um, october 11 to 16 is habitat for humanity and it's a veggie pizza with pesto squash roasted garlic um, some chili and mozz and third week is stray rescue love them mm -hmm. smoked mozzarella parmesan Parmesan. 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 Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan cheese. All cheese. Very, very cheesy. Um, and the fourth is for the Alzheimer's Association. That's very close to Mike's heart. Um, it, his family was impacted by Alzheimer's. So I think it's a really great way 
um, to be able to give back to important charities. He's hoping to raise awareness of the work that these charities are doing. Mm -hmm. And also, I have to say, all the Feast ladies adore Randolphies. If you have not been to Randolphies, I mean, it. you need to go. The food is fantastic. Um, and I'm not kidding. Liz Miller, our senior editor, whenever there's a chance to mention Mike <laughs> Randolph, she does it. And so this one's for you, Liz. How come they don't love me the way they love him? <laughs> but you don't make pizza. Oh. Right. <laughs> if you can make food, then uh, maybe right. they would. Then fair you will receive the love of the feast ladies. Mm-hmm. All right. Fair enough. All right. You got stage left next to the Fox and Randolphies, 665 Delmore Boulevard. So each week you buy pizza. They'll donate to the cause. During the month of October. During the month of October. That is a really nice cause. All right, outside of two Emmys this week, what else is going on at Feast? Uh, Well, it it is that that opening of the the photo exhibit. And I did, I had both Alex and Heather were like texted me. They're like, don't forget to mention our our photo exhibit. So it's really very cool. It's at the Dark Room, and uh, which is a really great wine bar. Also, the last Taste and See is October 21st in, um, we had, it was a rain delay, essentially. Mm -hmm. We're using Mm -hmm. baseball terms um we've been discussing baseball off yes. air and uh so that is going to be october 21st it's all about seafood so if you are uh want to join us i would love to see you guys there please come you guys all right uh by the way in terms Kelly. of full uh, disclosure your favorite baseball movie of all time is field of dreams no you're wrong Kelly? you're wrong you know i kind of i like field of dreams too i lived in iowa kind of around that time Ooh. so it's a yeah. great movie. Yes, it is a very, is. very, very good movie. And Major League is hilarious. Major League is hilarious. A League of Their Own no, 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 is no, the no. best baseball I movie ever made. I mean, I like both of those. I take issue with that. Yeah. 646, feastmagazine.com. <laughs> she knows everything about food and nothing about baseball movies. 643, KTRS.